Welcome to CPS 360 Sports. I'm Matthew Rothermick. And I'm Jake Benson, and we have a busy show in store for you. First up is a feature on the Hallsville boys basketball team. Savannah Singletary got the dish on what makes the Indians go this season. Class 3, District 8, Hallsville boys basketball, who are ranked 7th in the state, are coming out stronger than ever. Former Hallsville alum Brandon Bartlett was hired last season to be the new boys basketball coach for the Indians. Already having one season under his belt with the majority of this year's players, Bartlett knows the strengths of his team. Well, we're deep. We've got a lot of good players, so we can, we can throw a lot of different things at you. We're fast. We've got some good size, so we, we got, we're pretty well balanced here. Winning five games in a row, blowing their opponents out of the water, the Indians averaged a 23-point winning deficit between their opponents. Blair Oaks, who is 3-0, and Southern Boone, who is 5-0, according to Max Preps, are the Indians' toughest competition they feel they will face this season. Powerhouses, as they call them, but that isn't going to scare Hallsville away. Junior guard Alex Weimler has big dreams for this upcoming season. His mentality is to finish as strong as ever. I would like to accomplish um, a winning record, possibly only like single digit losses, a district title, a conference title, uh, you know, a lot of accomplishments that this program hasn't seen in a long time. It's been it's been 13 years since we put anything up on, on our wall, so it's, it's about time we made that change. One of Hallsville's big men on campus, Braden Blakemore, standing at 6'4", is excited for what this season has in store for them. Um, I think it's going to be pretty exciting for what we can do, and it uh, should be fun to watch. The fans are loud and proud for their boys, who are currently 6-1. Make sure you come out and watch the Hallsville boys basketball team. I'm Savannah Singletary for CPS 360 Sports. Boy, that was a really great story by Savannah. It always is. Staying with basketball, Barrett Smith brings us a feature on the new addition to the Rockbridge girls basketball team. I spoke to Ellie Brown about how her transition from Iowa to Mizzou was fun for her. I moved here August 12th. Oh, yeah. This year. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa, or Johnson, Iowa. Uh, since I was in fifth grade, and I just loved it ever since. It's awesome. I mean, when I was originally born here, I didn't like know anything, so it was like 10 months maybe, and then we moved and I came back. So it's just cool to experience it, I guess, for the first time. Um, and you also committed to Mizzou, so are you excited to put like Sophie coming in and yes. Sierra? Yeah, there are a big reason why I committed there. Um, just knowing Sophie and Sierra just since like freshman year, sophomore year, just knowing of them was really cool. And since I found out that they were going to Mizzou, I was like, oh, I definitely have to go. You friend and Cupid is fine though. We go in on a high note. I spy with my little eye. A girly I can get cause she don't get too many likes. A curly head, a cutie I could turn into my wife. Wait, that means forever, ever, hold up, never mind. Oh, I, I spy with my little eye. A girly I can get cause she don't get too many likes. A curly head, a cutie I could turn into my wife. Wait, that means forever, ever, hold up, never mind. Oh, I, I spy with my little eye. I spoke to Peyton McAllister on how it's like playing with Ellie Brown in the backcourt. A great experience and really cool to play with. Right after summer, she said she came to all preseason. Man, that was a great story by uh, Barrett there. Hey, it always is. Now we move on to highlights where Jake Benson traveled to Hallsville to cover the boys and girls basketball matchups. Here's an early season varsity matchup between the Hallsville Indians and the North Callaway Thunderbirds. Hallsville got off to a good start and made early buckets with senior Braden Blakemore leading the team. The Indians scored 13 unanswered points in the first quarter and continue to dominate in the second, with Callaway scoring in single digits. The Thunderbirds finally put some points on the board, but at half, they were down by 39 points. 
Hallsville's defense continued to be relentless in the second half and allowed only 13 points while scoring 15. The Indians went on to win 67 to 26. Just before the Hallsville boys win, the girls took on North Cowley Ladybird. Both the Indians and the Thunderbirds battled back and forth for the lead. After the first, the score was 19 to 26, Cowley. In the second, the Thunderbirds expanded their lead and started to pull away. The Indians did their best to fight back, but ended up losing 44-51. Hey, those were some solid highlights. Thanks, man. Staying with the hoops, Matthew brings us highlights from three games at the Norm Stewart Classic basketball event. Here at the Norm Stewart Classic, this highlight reel is bringing you three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Our first one is the Hickman Cupid and the Liberty North Eagles. To get the Eagles rolling, James Perry here on the sweet and one. Back the other way, Chase Thomas with a slick little scoop shot to get the QPs rolling. There's everyone's favorite, the QP. Jarvis Jennings with a great spin move, hits the bucket. Coach Logan likes what he sees in his team. QPs ran into trouble though as Dominique Fregola was too much as he led the team and the game in scoring and knocks down the three here. The cheerleaders try to flip the momentum for the QP. But on the other end, James Perry finishes the layup and Liberty North wins this one, 65 to 54. Just like the cameras, the games kept rolling as this next one we've got for you is St. Joseph's Academy taking on the Battle Spartans. Tip-off was at 10 p.m. and early in the first, Lauren Watkins hits the three to get the Spartans going on offense. On the other end, great fast break as number 12, Mary LaBelle, hits the layup. End of the first, Alex Kerr can't make the first one, but she hits the second one at the buzzer. Their fans love it. Again, it's walking as she hits the three. But Kellen McLaughlin nails the and one. The Angels controlled this one the whole time as the St. Joseph Academy's dominated, winning 69 to 54. The classic this year was 48 straight hours as our next one started at midnight on Sunday morning. We've got for you the South Callaway Bulldogs as they took on the Hallsville Indians. First half, South Callaway hits the layup. Their students don't have much to cheer for though in the student section, as it was all Hallsville in this one. Second half now, look at the sweet spin move by Tanner Beatty. Tripped by his teammate after he makes it, but he keeps going. Next possession for the Indians, Braden Blakemore with the monster jam and one. Their fans are having a good time. Still in the third, Alex Weimer at the buzzer. He hits it, but it's called off. Take another look though. 1.6 seconds were still left on the clock. Hey, not everyone's perfect at one in the morning. Doesn't matter though, it's Indian roll in this one. 79 to 58. Hey, great story. Hey, really appreciate that. Kier Malloy was also at the Norm Stewart Classic and brings us the following highlights. The Rockbridge Bruins took on the Christian Brothers Cadets this past weekend at the Norm Stewart Classic. The final game of 48 hours of continuous basketball ended with a performance from both teams that was very emblematic of the hard work and impressive basketball that went into this tournament. 
The Rockbridge Bruins and the Cadets traded the lead throughout the first half. Impressive performances from the Bruins, the Cooper brothers, Jamonte Black, and Justin Hajik. The Bruins battled hard in the second half, but in the end, the Cadets beat the Rockbridge Bruins 60-53. to The Rockbridge Bruins took on the Christian Brothers Cadets this past weekend at the Norm Stewart Classic. The final game of 48 hours of continuous basketball ended with a performance from both teams that was very emblematic of the hard work and impressive basketball that went into this tournament. The Rockbridge Bruins and the Cadets traded the lead throughout the first half. Impressive performances from the Bruins, the Cooper brothers, Jamonte Black, and Justin Hajik. Well, that does it for this episode of uh, CPS 360 Sports. I'm Jake Benson. And I'm Matthew Rothmick. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.